Hey, yo, yo, guys, it's me, Epsark, and welcome to Last Day on Earth Survival. So if you just got this game on your phone and you're searching for some tips and tricks or you just don't know how to play this game, then this video is just gonna be for you. I'm gonna be making all these full series just to teach you guys how to play this game. Because I've been playing this game for like 10 months now, and I think I can share some tips with you. So let's firstly open up this truck, guys, and as we can see, we can get weapons, and I think I'm gonna talk more about weapons after. But firstly, let's equip it. It's pretty easy. Go in your backpack or like whatever and open that and equip this cleaver. And as soon as we equip it, guys, we can see that it does more damage, but firstly guys let's actually go and teach you the mechanics of how to kill zombies because i think this is the most important step of the game so probably when you just start out the game you're just gonna start quick up rushing on these peeps you see uh, on these zombies and they start noticing you and they start crawling on you and they're gonna start attacking you and they're gonna do damage and it's not really that much worth it so what you have to do is sneak guy just sneak on these zombies uh, like by clicking the uh, button on the down left corner right corner <laughs> down right corner There is a sneak button you can sneak on them and don't sneak from the front because if you sneak from the front They're gonna be able to notice you sneak from the back and then you're gonna be able to do triple damage And you do 51 damage with the cleaver for example and again I got way too close and I made some noise and this roaming zombie have seen me So let's actually go through the other side uh, like once again you see I'm crawling I'm sneaking through the through, from the back from the zombie and we're killing them and by killing them guys we're getting some experience and experience in this game is pretty important because we can level up and with level ups we unlock more stuff to craft but more about crafting we're going to talk about that a bit later let's just shred these zombies first Okay, okay, and we and, and the same applies to deers as well because deers are pretty guys important with deers You'll be able to cook your meat to get some leather to craft better weapons and better equipment But about that a bit later So sorry for interrupting you guys But I'm live streaming every single day here on YouTube and plus uploading videos So you're definitely not gonna be bored and in order to not miss anything Just drop that subscribe button and let's just jump back in the video So let's just kill deers deers are usually walking So just walk after them and sneak on them because if you just stand up they will start running away So it's gonna be a bit harder to uh, kill them so basically take everything pick up everything from these deers like you see guys I just scared this deer and it will keep running away so basically you just have to sneak after it so it's pretty easy guys it's not that hard so when you kill all these zombies in the map guys I seriously advise you click just auto button auto button is gonna be your best friend in this game because there's a lot of grinding in this game there's a lot of chopping a lot of mining so uh, the auto button is in the left corner over here where is my camera just click on it and the dude will start picking up basically everything what he has so seriously what you have to do this is just basically gonna be your area when you're gonna be building your home this is just gonna be your basically your house so definitely clean it up because you have to pick up everything and it's pretty much easy all you have to do is just uh, start picking up auto until you can craft a backpack and we're gonna be able to craft backpack at level 2 so as soon as we're gonna level up we will craft this backpack guys it's pretty easy to craft so first let's just pick up everything and our character is gonna be level 2 right now so here we go guys we leveled up and let's craft a backpack because we're almost out of space here and here we go we unlocked some new things so for now we don't care about them guys but firstly let's craft a backpack let's learn this thing you think boom and every time you learn something you use your points and each level you get like a couple of points or one point I'm not really sure about this don't want to lie but uh, it really doesn't matter but whatever let's craft the backpack and as you see we crafted it and we have this much space and after when you will progress in the game there is more backpacks uh, like there is the there's the military backpack that you'll be able to craft like far far in the game and you will have more space but for now we've got this space so let's keep continuing uh, picking up everything but you also can craft now a hatchet because if you don't have a hatchet if you don't know what is a hatchet it's just like basically an axe you can just go there and chop down some wood so basically craft a hatchet and also craft a pickaxe because we've got some uh, ore to mine with the, you can mine this ore with pickaxe logically and chop down wood with an axe so basically you can do that all yourself just hold this and chop down these woods but my seriously my biggest advice would be just click auto and the guy's gonna do everything here this is just why i said that's why i said that this is your best friend because you might miss something on this map and this guy is gonna basically see everything so just hit auto guys and wait until he's gonna deal with everything and also while he's doing this make sure that you're still hydrated and you still have enough uh, your hunger bar is not on zero because your guy will start dying so this game is being updated every like week or two weeks or like whatever right now i'm playing in version 1.8.5 so everything what i say applies to 1.8.5 so i don't know if you're gonna be watching it later in like two months or three months so i don't really know what's gonna be new in your game maybe it's everything is still gonna be the same especially in the beginning of the game why i said this is because in 1.8.5 version and still in all in the previous versions you can die in your base here and you're gonna be able to take your stuff back for example if i die right now out of hunger i'm still gonna be able to 
respawn here and pick up all my stuff from the backpack, from my body, so don't worry. But if you wander somewhere outside and you're gonna die there, you're not gonna be able to pick up your stuff. So do not die outside and you can die here in your base. So don't worry about this. And here we go, we leveled up to level 3. Let's actually check out what stuff we unlocked. We didn't unlock anything, so at level 6 we're gonna be unlocking our melting furnace. Still our great, great friend. So basically, the most important thing for you to craft is gonna be campfire or garden bed. Garden bed and campfire and also some few small boxes and that's gonna be great but first let's just clear all this area and then i'm gonna share some more tips with you and also i forgot to mention that you can get go here in the inbox just basically click on these coins here in the middle on the down thing you think click there go in inbox and you're gonna be able to get like every single day every 24 hours you get three bottles of water and three baked beans which is really great because sometimes they help you out when you wander somewhere outside and you start dying and you don't have any food so they're literally gonna help you out so it's good good thingy also for those who didn't know you can go in your backpack and actually customize your character just go in your backpack click on this pen and you're gonna be able to go and custom customize your character, choose your gender. Okie dokie, guys, I actually forgot, there is a zombie. We just shredded the zombie, our guy f fights zombies automatically there as well when you click on auto. So that's good. Well, whatever, let's go and let's keep customizing our character. Character. This is like basically the one-on-one character, but I think let's change him. I think this is how I play, guys, in the my main account. Whatever, let's keep him like this. I think it looks like uh, uh, he looks cooler like this. So, so I'll try to keep these series daily and upload these tutorials every single day, guys. We're gonna be progressing in this game together. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be here going and, like, building level four walls and everything because there's seriously a lot and a lot of stuff to grind and I already have my main account and I already have a lot of, a lot of great stuff. So our pickaxe, bro, guys, let's actually craft another pickaxe and I think that we still have a hatchet. Oh, no, we actually don't have a hatchet. So let's guys craft a hatchet and let's pick up the rest of the stuff while well, we still have some space because I think soon we will start running out of space and we will need to craft well whatever you know what guys you literally don't care about these berries you can chuck them down like right now they don't matter like this we're gonna have more space and you'll be able to clear this area faster so we'll be able to find this all this tutorial guide playlist in the description in the next episode there in the description as well or at the end of this video by clicking on the card and if it's still not there that means I still didn't create that next episode but it should be out there soon so basically I think we created everything because it says no resources to collect that means we cleared everything this whole map is clear These zombies are gonna disappear with time So so actually here's a healer guys So basically the deal is that he appears every single day for like 30 minutes when you log in the game every like 24 hours If I'm not mistaken or for some people it doesn't appear I don't really know how often he appears But usually he has to appear like every 24 hours and basically he gives all these different buffs uh, that you can get for one hour if you watch an advertise so for example this one is damage and hand to hand fights increased by 30 percent which is pretty cool but i think the best things are chance to find weapon increased by five percent so in chests if you're somewhere outside you can uh, increase your chance by finding a weapon by five percent and this one is pretty cool i think you're going to be using this one the most is where you can restore your energy and basically we will need energy to travel and when you start off the game guys definitely go and check out on your healer sometimes there's going to be a experience buff then take this experience buff while you're chopping down everything and basically we're going to be able to level up your character a bit faster and don't worry if you can't level up your character pretty fast because it takes some time guys you can't just level up your character in one day so don't worry about that there's literally a lot of grinding involved in this game so you can't just level up it pretty quickly so now guys let's go and let's start building the base so basically so my first tip here in this game do not build a big base in the beginning of the game i just usually build something like this and do not build walls because there is a zombie horde coming every 24 hours and they're just gonna destroy your walls and in the beginning of your game until you're like level 40 or something i don't really know at what level we can build cb radio let's guys check it out oh we actually actually built cb radio at level six so guys at level six you can unlock some more stuff like some cool stuff like rating and blah 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 but guys this is not really important this is not the topic of this video right now so basically let's craft at least one single box let's craft it let's place it over here because you can't place a box here on the simple ground you have to place it on, on top of this place on top of this thing i mean so let's uh, get rid of all these all this stuff guys but before we get rid of let's actually craft a garden bed because i was talking about that it's pretty important so let's craft the garden bed right now and we will be able to actually start getting food for ourselves because food is pretty great and again to craft garden bed let's go in the building menu go in furniture and let's craft garden bed somewhere over here guys i think it's gonna look great Let's go and basically you can start placing your seeds here and they will grow in one hour You'll be able to get two carrots So that is really great and I would probably advise to craft you another garden bed because they're gonna take a lot of time to craft it takes a lot of time to grow the food but basically before you go to sleep or whatever place like 10 seeds in one and 10 in another because in the 1.8.5 version everything stacks at 20 so basically you can let's actually take it off guys 
and let's stack it only till 10. Because guys, you can only place here 10 seeds and you're gonna have 20 carrots, so place only 10 seeds over there because after 10 seeds to grow, you're gonna get 20 carrots and after 20 carrots they stop growing, you will need to take them off. So before you go to bed, guys, definitely place only 10 seeds, not more. You can place more if you have more seeds, more than 20 seeds. And now we can get out of there. I don't think there's anything else that we can craft. I mean, shower is pretty, pretty important as well, but we don't have any patches. And in order to craft patches, we need, I still think we need... Now, we actually, to, in order to craft patches, guys, we need to craft sewing table, but it's not really important right now. So we're going to be finding patches from killing zombies in the forest. So don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. We need to craft our woodworking bench, though. Woodworking bench is important as well. And our campfire, guys. So let's craft these two items because that's what we will need to do okay we need to place it on the floor so let's place our woodworking bench on the floor after that you're gonna be able to craft two working benches but for now guys let's craft only one and a lot of people basically jump straight here and start for example you can check all here recipes right and a lot of people for example start cooking juicy steaks which you shouldn't do because in the when you will progress when you will progress a little bit in the game you'll be able to get dried meat here at level 14 and you won't need to waste your resources because you can get dried meat for free just in one hour and in order to get juicy steak you need to waste coal so do not cook here do not cook a berry tea because for now it's useless the best thing your friend will be growing carrots and you will be growing carrots here and as you can see right now guys we are dying and for the sakes of not being a noob guys let's take these three bottles of water and let's actually drink one bottle of water guys and i would say recycle your bottles of water because in the beginning of the game guys water is going to be your problem after uh, further in the game you won't have problems with water but in the beginning at least for me i had lots of problems with water you'll be able to craft rain catcher a bit after but not yet so craft a spear uh, so we can't even craft a spear right now so i think i made a mistake by crafting all of these items you should definitely unlock a spear to craft something but basically guys let's get rid of the grass and all these things that we probably don't even care about let's put all these stuff here in the chest guys after that you'll be able to sort it out make your base pretty like you can build five chests and then only only keep for example stone in one chest and the second chest you can keep wood and blah 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 and everything is gonna be great uh, but let's take at least like eight wood and nine stone to the wood to the woods guys because we're gonna be going outside right now and i think i will take these three baked beans in order to survive and you can play these baked beans here in your quick slot and you'll be able to heal here strict away from the heal slot while uh, from the quick slot while you are fighting so i think we are ready to go outside i just definitely should have started doing more stuff but the point is guys let's start making planks because planks are here pretty important with planks we'll be able to get coal and whatever planks are just just great so let's actually take so we started doing these 20 planks and i seriously advise you guys start doing planks as soon as possible and then you will be able to craft like two campfires i think we can actually even maybe do that right now but i don't think i've got enough iron coal so we're gonna craft that a little bit when we'll get a little bit richer for now let's just keep one place of these because guys our friend here why do we need campfire here in the first place you might ask me because we will be getting coal from campfire so what you will have to do is get your planks and get your charcoal so basically in the beginning you will need to uh, get your pine plank with pine planks and with pine planks you'll be able to basically burn planks into coal and coals here are the best way to get resources so basically i'm going to be showing you everything probably in the next episode because right now we need to wait like some time until they will start burning so basically we got this rope and let's put the rope back and let's get outside i want to share you some tips about outside and what's going on so okie dokie guys we got a plane crash event which is really amazing i think you can get only like two plane crash events in this game whatever so basically sometimes an event is gonna spawn here blah blah i think i'm gonna talk about the events when they're gonna spawn sometimes there is a first aid event like there's gonna be like this box and i think you shouldn't be going there in the beginning of your level because you're just gonna be wasting your energy to go there and you're like actually not going not getting there anything like super important but i think maybe once we're gonna go there for the sake of uh, education but I don't think it's really that much important especially when you're the first level so so like basically you guess that this green area is the easy mode like this yellow area is gonna be the medium mode and this is red is gonna be the basically hardest there's gonna be the most zombies and it's actually pretty hard to go there at level one you're not gonna be able to survive there and I think we're gonna even have some troubles here at yellow area right now so our friend is green area for now and here's green area as well and everything is basically here marked with these area so i think it's pretty easy you can get here stone 
in the pine bushes you can get wood pretty easy and we also can see here some bases in the game these are bots bases we will be able to raid them probably next episode so we're gonna talk about that later but basically you can go there uh, steal some stuff from them with hatchets and iron hatchets but for that we need to unlock iron hatchets and craft iron hatchets it's pretty hard to get that guys and find duct tape in the beginning duct tape is pretty hard so so in the next episode guys we're gonna be going and checking out this plane crash event so go ahead and watch my second episode of noob to pro and last on earth just click here on the first card but if you want to check out how i'm playing on my higher level account just click here on the second card you're gonna be able to check out how i'm rating bases i'm live streaming every single day here on youtube and plus uploading videos so you're definitely not gonna be bored so hit that subscribe button to not miss anything on this channel i played such games as dying light subnautica outlast gothic series so just hop over to my playlist and you're gonna find something that you're gonna like